step one. Step two, you've got to make it visible. Do I have any three monitor people in here? Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, yeah. Oh, come on. How many? Three's good. Any four? Four. Four. Like the bridge of the Starship Enterprise over there. Sweet. That's looking good. Anybody more than four? Okay, good. I was, I was really going to freak out a little bit there. If you had five monitors, like, wow, what are you doing? Unless you're a hacker. I don't know what that's about. So, so here's the problem, you guys, with all of our monitors. If every single day I've got whatever I have up to do my business, but I'm not looking at my plan, guess what's going to end up happening? The things that you've learned here are going to drift away into what's called the law of diminishing intent. And the law of diminishing intent is going to take your hopes and your dreams, and it's going to blow it away into the dust of great intentions. Don't let that happen. You've got to make it visible. Get your plan put it up on a wall, get it someplace visible where you look at it every single day so that you're reminded, uh, regardless of the chaos that's coming at you, this is what matters. This is where I'm going. An easy thing to do is, if you want to just do it in terms of volume, if you go to Amazon, there is a two-by-three-foot laminated um, thermometer business plan you can put on the back of a door and you can just start tracking, you know, and coaching, all the coaches in the room would tell you, track leading indicators, right? Like credit polls as an example. Start coaching, start tracking leading indicators. Don't track, just track volume. Volume's too late. Am I right, you guys? Yeah. Track meaningful conversations, track credit polls, but make it visible. So number one, I've got a written plan. Number two, I'm gonna make it visible.